how would you tell a lot of young men out there to handle the situation that they have never faced before that they don't know how to deal with? It's like, a, well, fight this? Well, let me tell you, I'm going to break it down two ways. Two ways. Man. Just what I know. But fighters, people that fought before, it's just like getting knocked down. If you've been in the gym and you got knocked down, or if you've been in the gym and you got tired and you had to push. Remember how had that second win, how you had to dig deep and pull it out from the inside of your gut? That's how you got to do it. No matter what happens in life, you got to keep going. No matter what happens in life, we keep going, whether we want to do it or not. Because let's just say you get beat up tonight. You go home, you ice, you know, you heal your wounds up and you go to sleep and you get up the next day and you start all over and do it again. So you you did. You know what I'm saying? Get through it. So you got to get through it and you got to keep pushing. But you got to be able to have the tough skin to be like, you know what, no matter what I went through, I'm not going to let that hinder me or, or hold me down or take me down any lower than where I'm at right now. And for And for me, my whole struggle, I came from Brownsville, Brooklyn, from the bottom, bro. I free lunch rolls for all that. I thought like there was no lower. I was at the bottom, bro. I was at the bottom. So everything that, everything that I'm doing now at this time of my life was an extra, a plus for me. It was a plus. Everything, everything, bro. Every tournament I went on, every every bag they gave me, every socks, every anything that somebody gave me or anything. It was a blessing because it came, it was a notch up from where I was at. They didn't know that. They didn't know that. We made it look good. We ain't coming in looking like that. We looked it good. We, we played the part because we could fight. So they, we, we, we fought so good that they, they forgot about these little poor ass little dirty little kids in the hood. <laughs> you, know? Yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They forgot about that. They like, nah. Champ, that's no. He he nice. What do you need? Niggas, go get us some niggas. What do you need? Some shirt, go get us some shirt. <laughs> For real, bro, it's like that. So now, as you go in, you start to go, wow. So your void of your hunger, of your poorness, of your of your poverty, they 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 fulfilling it now. You need a shirt, you get it. You need a shirt back. What we need? They fulfilling that void. So now you're able to. Chest up now, confidence yeah. up now. You walk straight. And, Yo, I got a haircut. I come outside, take my hat. I done take my hoodie off now. You know what I'm saying? You know how they, you, gotta, you ain't got a cut. You got a hat, a hood yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. It, it can be hot as a mud. You sweating. You still got a hood on. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? Hood stuff. You got to learn the camouflage and get through it. And like, you know what I'm saying? So, it is, man. <laughs> hey, that's why, you know, us who come from that place, us who come, you would. You was that 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 the man, the champ to us, man. So I mean, you, one thing I can say about you, Zab, is like you one of those uh, uh, figures that will always be loved, especially in the hood and the communities that we come from, right. because of how real you are, stuff like that, man. So. So yeah, man, I get everything you're saying. Where I stood up in the ring, my eye on the mission. At 11 years old, this right here was my vision. Make it to the top, catch everyone's attention. The haters thinking hate, as long as they listen to the words that I say as my tongue keeps twisting. Heavyweight flow, you not in my division.